Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case. This is Skyflight44, aka Zack44. And today we're playing... The Lord of the Rings the Third Age. We're on Pelennor Fields. The last chapter in the entire game, and this is going to be hell. Ah, uh, th this... I, I, unlike all the, every single other chapter, which I generally have at least a good amount of base knowledge on, I really don't know this one too well. Um, let's see, does Air of the Sleep actually still work? Yes, they do! Well, that's great. Uh, gone to a rampage on you. Definitely want you dead. But, um, this... This chapter is a little bit ridiculous, and to be honest, I have no idea <laughs> what I should actually be talking about in this chapter, just because there really isn't much I can actually go and say. Much of what I'm going, what I would actually go and say, would just be me repeating exactly what I said in all the other chapters. Just hit these enemies as hard as possible. And that's about it. Do I actually think that this, uh, this actual, um, do I actually think that this chapter is the hardest chapter? No, it can be, but it really isn't. The big thing about this chapter is that, uh, other than maybe, uh, one enemy, they're not, they have, it's just that they have a lot of health. Barathor can go and destroy quite a lot, and actually it is going to be our main attacker because everybody else doesn't necessarily have their best um, their best uh, skills. Um, Hadad would be actually be pretty good if I actually had uh, one of his four hit moves, but since I actually went for spear powers, that's not actually going to be something that's going to happen. Uh, all too quickly. I'm probably never going to get it. Okay. Spirit goes down. But pretty much everything else goes up. But my health goes down about 400. That kind of sucks. My speed goes up quite a bit, though. Eh, might as well go and use it. Oh, this is much, much better. Yeah, all in all, better. This chapter, though, is not something I, uh... I really don't remember this one all too much. It's just because... Come on, really? I... I've committed to memory a lot of the earlier chapters. But this one just... Kind of... There's n other than some of the battles, there's not much to this one. There's not too much story involved to this, or very much at all until the very end. Um, there's really not uh, any new enemies but one that we're actually going to be facing. There's really not much different other than the stats are cranked up. And by stats, I mean health bars. Holy shit. The health bar. Is way too high on some of these enemies. Oh, yep. Don't think that Barathor is going to be able to kill that thing. Nope. Not at all. Well, is it going to go and attack? Yeah, it's going to go and attack Elagos, but he dodged it. Cool. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Uh. Damn. That guy's. No, that guy isn't paralyzed. Uh, let's see. I should go with this. Ooh, double critical and killed it. Well, technically it was always going to do a double critical. But with you, we're going to want to go and kill this one off. If none of them miss, this should actually go and kill it off. 
And with you, let's go and get a draining shot in. I want health back. Double critical, cool. Of course, I'd actually be a completely full heal. Now, what I actually say that uh, you should use anybody. Nah. There, you could use whoever you actually want at this point. But, Barathor. If you don't actually use Barathor, I think you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, that isn't to say that you can't. But, trust me. The amount of damage he can do. Uh, th there's no way you actually want to go and uh, use anything else. There's nobody else that could actually do anything as uh, well as Barathor can. And you, with one last training shot, should take it out. Now again, not the other chapters in this actual game are all very much alike in that there's a lot of fighting, more fighting, a little bit of cutscenes, but mostly more fighting involved. And this is probably the sword that isn't as good as everything else. Oh shit, that's not even close, that spear. Yep. Oh, this is this sword's actually better. Cool. Ah, oh, let's go put that. Uh, strength doesn't go down too much. That'll be fine. But to be honest, this entire uh, this battlefield looks gruesome. Oh shit! No, fuck you. Okay, let's see. You need to come out. And I need to go stop this. I hate Morgomira. Not to mention, the amount of damage I'm going to have to do to this guy to actually get him to die is going to be way too high. All these battles are just drawn out because of it. At this point, we kind of know how to take care of all these enemies. We kind of know how to go... And basically, everything isn't. Everything that we're actually uh, facing isn't anything new. There's nothing about this that is new. Ooh, he actually has Biting Blade too, Barathor. Oh shit. With that, uh, he can actually go and uh, counter attacks will now be. The last three missed. Counter attacks will now actually go and give him uh, more health. Okay. Oh, you too have Biting Blade, but you don't actually have all the good shit, so. Actually, wait, no. Let's go Elagost. And, uh, after that, Arrow's asleep. It's not going to get that uh, spear wielding orc to go and uh, sleep, but, uh,. At least I got one of the veterans. Fuck, Morgulmir. Again. This is gonna get old really fast. Good thing it didn't actually go to the counterattack. Damn. Morgulance, two of them? Oh, I hate you. Okay, gonna bring out you. No, wait, I'm gonna be bringing out him. Frenzy, and then I'm going to do Dispel, and then Channel Spirit. I need Channel Spirit. Else Barathor is not going to be able to do any kind of damage. And with you, let's bring out Idriel. To heal up Barathor. Oh. To be honest, one Gondor Rampage should have took this thing out. I'm going to do it again. Just because, yeah, a lot of those are probably actually going to go and miss. And of course... It Oh, 
Oh, wow, well, that's fine. Actually, I probably should have went with the uh, uh, Water Stallion to deal a little bit of damage to uh, these two. It's just that uh, at this point, we really don't have too much. Uh, we really can't do too much with our uh, Water Spear powers just because everybody's kind of resistant to it. Uh, all of the mortal orcs are resistant to it. All of the um, orcs that we originally were going through and uh, Rohan and uh, Rodrian were um, they were actually weak to it which was one of the reasons why they took so much damage from it. Idril by this point is only good for as a healer. I'm definitely doing double attack. If this doesn't miss at all, I sh... Yeah, I'm not killing it. Fuck me! Three? Yeah. Now I would actually like to go and, um... I would really, really like to go and, uh, use... What was it called? It was, uh, some... Company Valor, was it? The thing that actually makes, uh... It was the leadership ability that actually makes you hit more often. That would be so much better than what than me missing all the time. Gift of the Grey Haven tits. <laughs> yeah. How long have we been in this battle? I just I just hate I don't hate this last chapter before I even go and say that I don't hate this last chapter. I do, however, hate what they did to try and lengthen this chapter. Because there's nothing new. The fact that they actually... Well, th there's one thing new, and we're probably going to be seeing it uh, pretty soon. I could go down there and get something. No, no, wait, that, wait, um, I'm kind of, oh, wait. This, this map's really not helping me. Okay, going this way will probably go and give me, um, new items and all that. Oh, a troll, thank you. Like, I really want to go and face a troll. Uh, let's see if this will actually go and work. Yeah, well, that guy's actually stunned. Yeah. Oh well, let's go and kill this guy off. I'm gonna need him. I'm gonna need him to actually go and give me more AP. Definitely going to need more AP. Swift Hammer. I don't think Barathor is actually weak against Blunt. He might be. Still. But I don't think he is. Oh yeah, that is going that is going to be terrible. Well, go and use that to do some damage. I believe Loudwater Fury will uh, work fair enough on the troll. I could go and use a uh, Had Had to uh, probably make this go by a little bit quicker. But it's mainly going to be in Barathor going and using his amazing Gondor Rampage ability. Although the trolls are resistant against Slash. That is one thing that actually does happen. But they don't resist any of my spear powers. Thunderhammer. Well, fuck me. Doesn't matter too much. I wasn't really using Barathor to begin with to do too much damage. Though that thing is going to get a second attack in. And a Thunderhammer on Idriel. Thank you. That's was not something I actually wanted to happen. Let's go frenzy. And, and to be honest, this is really stupid if 
Yeah, this is with uh, doing rupture armor would actually do more damage and take a lot less AP. Oh, thunder hammer on him. Oh, fine. He's n he wasn't going to get another attack in anyway because of frenzy. I just wanted uh, Barathor to be able to go and attack again. Gonna do a targeted strike. Just to make sure. There's not, again, there's not too much that's actually different with this chapter. There is going to be one new enemy that's going to be a pain in the ass to go and defeat. That new enemy is not going to be one of those pansy-ass orcs. And it's one of the reasons why I think this uh, actual chapter is incredibly ridiculous. It's not the entire reason why I think this chapter is ridiculous. But, uh, oh, trust me. This chapter definitely feels a little bit ridiculous after you see what you're facing. Okay, Elagast. I don't really care what the actual stats are. I'm doing well enough that I can actually go and beat this uh, hard mode. Going down here. Are we actually going to be facing it now? Well, no, we're not facing... Oh, shit, Morgul Vapors. Not... Oh, shit, almost killed him. Oh, damn. Well, uh... Go and attack this guy. So you can heal up all the way. Dark Waters? Not all that bad. Well, Gift of the Grey Haven. Definitely want that. Hopefully... That actual uh, orc archer will not attack Barathor. Good dodge. That would have went and uh, completely fucked me over. Because that would have actually... Um, what was it called? That would have um, paralyzed him. Would have bound melee. And that would have been bad. Really, really bad. This one. This one's getting too many turns in. He deserves to die. Well, that was also the Dark Waters one. So that kind of did, or was stupid. Channel Spirit. Oh, Stagnant Fury and Barathor. Barathor has enough health as it is. I don't have to really worry all too much. I mean, if this was, if this was Idriel, I might, uh, I might think to myself that would be bad. But um, it was a uh, better. Fuck me, that that would have killed it too. Oh shit, Morgul vapors. I hate Morgul vapors. Does way too much damage, and it does damage to everybody. Hmm. Yeah, another biting blade. I really can't go and do. Well, I can go and do damage with the spirit attacks, but it's just not going to do all that much damage to these guys. Double attack. And we're going to do Gondor Rampage on this guy. Oh, a couple of them missed. Well, that sucks. Now, once again, let's go and use Gondor Rampage... Eh, uh, yeah, he's dead. I didn't really want to go and kill the other guy anyway, just because it was going to make Idriel before the next fight actually do Gift of the Grey Haven. Or Gift of the Grey Haven. You want to keep it full health as much as possible in this uh, in these fights. Because the next one might do you in, if you don't. Drain health. Oh, actually, draining health doesn't, doesn't really actually... Uh, isn't affected too much. Maybe it's just Idriel's water uh, special, like uh, spear powers. Maybe that's all that's really affected. 
Well, I could go down that path, but I don't feel like it. It's just going to give me more equipment that really doesn't matter at this point. Oh, more of these guys. Well, I can't do that. I'm going to have to go and just attack these guys like this. Now, let's see. Oh, shit! I just remember that could have did stunning abilities. Do I have anybody else that can actually stun? Had Hod can't. Elagos can't. Morwen, I don't think, can. Well, damn. Maybe I can actually cripple them. Though, actually, now I think about it. I've never... Oh, yeah, it is immune. But, um... Oh, shit, miss. Oh, damn. Hopefully, Adriel actually gets an attack in before, uh... Barathor gets one. Ooh. I was lucky. Really, really lucky. Let's go and bring out him. Channel Spirit. Because, once again, Barathor kind of needs it. Oh, crap. Morkel Vapors. Not looking good for me. Uh, not like I was going to make him actually use anything like that. That was a waste of a turn. And once again, I completely forget that I can actually go and stun with uh, Idriel. Gondor Rampage will take this guy out. Then I can go and just defeat the other guy with yet another one. It's a really, really useful move, and it's basically all you're going to be using in the latter portion of the actual, uh, well, in this chapter of the game. You're really going to want to use it just because it's a five-hit combo. He can do so much damage. Not to mention, if you have any Morgul Decays, keep at least two of them. For two of the bosses we're going to be fighting. But other than that, go use them however you actually want. If an enemy is taking too long to go and kill off, go and use it. Uh, but uh, let's actually go to Elagost. And uh, let's examine. Okay, there's not too much health on this guy. Uh, I can slow him. Huh. Well, we're going to slow him. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see how much... Let's see how much uh, wounding strike will actually do. Well, not too much. I don't really want to go and use... Yeah, let's go and do double attack. And then we're going to do Company Might, and then Fellowship Grace, depending on how much Fellowship Grace actually costs. I don't really remember. Yeah, damn, Fellowship Grace costs a bit too much. I thought it cost 75. Oh, well. I'm going to have to go and bring back, uh, I'm going to have to switch out Ed and, uh, in for, um, you know, Idriel. If Gio's going to be needing to go out. Unless I can actually use one of these and get, like, a shitload of AP. And I can! Isn't that cool? That's still probably the work of the, um... That polished stealth stone. A spear enhancement. That's probably work of that. Eh. Elven Rage. Be honest, I actually go and do a double attack Gondor Rampage. Uh, two of them. I can go and kill off the Nazgul quite easily. Unlike Osgiliath, these guys don't really have. They, they didn't really update their health too much. 
Let's go and try an Axelian Wrath. Oh shit, one of them missed. Yeah, that guy's not gonna die off. Draining shot. Yeah, Elagast really doesn't do all that much damage. And Osgiliath, right now, he would be able to one-shot all, every single orc, pretty much. But nowadays, he can't do all that much. He really can't. But that's just because of the outrageous amount of health that they actually got. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. And this... Good all around. Nice. Only one dexterity is lost. Is this going to be the fight? I've been leading up to this one fight. Yeah, this took a little bit longer to load. It's probably going to be it. No. This, no, it's just Soldiers of Rune. Now, go, going and doing Gondor Rampage probably isn't going to be the smartest idea. Just because of, yeah, it's not going to be a smartest idea at all. Just because of how little damage I'm actually going to be doing uh, to these guys. I might have... Ooh, shit. That's a lot of uh, health. I'm going to be going and doing targeted strike on these guys. Just f for the most part, I'm going to be doing a lot more damage that way. Arrow's asleep. And then the uh, guy on the far right is going to be immune. Yeah, I thought so. It's going to be immune. Definitely going to have to go back and... Uh, oh, disturb sleep. Oh, well. Let's go and wake these guys up. I need to get Elagost out for Ed and just because his spear powers the better. Then also the fact that he has uh, rupture armor. Which is going to be nice. If I really wanted to, uh, let's actually go and use Drain Inspiration. I was feeling like, a, oh shit, that didn't really give me too much. I was thinking about going and using um, Double Attack, uh, not, not Frenzy, and then going and doing the entire uh, Water Stallion. Because that would actually be able to do quite a lot of damage to these guys. Uh, let's bring out you. Frenzy. Oh, yeah. That doesn't actually do too much. Let's see how much I can actually get from you. From Draining Spirit. I'm going... To, uh, these guys really don't give much AP out at all. All I know is that I want to go and use... Water Stallion. And I might as well just go and use it. I mean... Waiting for Aiden to go and, you know, give Idriel some AP so I can do that. And, uh, two Water Stallions. Uh, two, a Frenzy and two Water Stallions would probably go and do a shitload of damage to these guys. Though the other two guys are actually going to wake up because of this. Oh, they actually don't do too much damage to him anymore. Oh, shit, Warcall. Though they, they attacked the wrong person for that. Hmm, let's see. Target to strike on this soldier should kill it. Black shield on the guy that was just about to die. Okay, we're going to have to do Frenzy. Heal yourself, Idriel. Then you're going to go and... Uh, then you're going to attack this guy. This should do enough damage to... Yeah, actually go through that. Oh! Black Shield is... It must actually give damage back to me. It does. I thought it was going to be one of those shields where it actually uh, takes the damage. That means you must die. Oh, shit. Well, Stunning Strike probably isn't going to work. 
Yes. Oh, shit. That did it to everybody? Yeah, that's not good. Though, that actually does give me more health back. We're gonna have to go and dispel that. Now, let's see. Double attack. Let's see how much Gondor Rampage is gonna do. I was trying to be economical with my AP. And just use target as strike, but that, that's not gonna work. I need to go and use Gondor Rampage. Ah, damn. Still actually hasn't gone and killed that guy off. These, these... Oh, crap. Well, you're dead. Granted, that's actually a good thing. Because now I can actually go and use Power of the Valor. Elden's actually going to get all of his health back. And his AP. Then I'm going to be able to go and uh, shift that around. Okay, let's go and do Frenzy. Channel Spirit to Idriel. Then, now uh, channel a little bit of health to her as well. She needs it. I didn't think she was going to be able to survive this next attack. Oh, look at that. Wow, oh, fuck me. Hmm. Valorous haste, yes. I would like to actually go and use this. Because then I can dispel. I was wondering what I should actually do. That was like the first time I've ever used that and probably my last. Ooh, and Adriel's actually the one to get hurt. We'll go and do Frenzy. I'll... I'll use Cleansing Waters and then Gift of Greyhaven. I'll basically bring everybody back all the way up. That'll be fine. And, oh, damn, I'm not going to get any kind of attack in with these bastards. Is that Disturbed Sleep? Okay, Lance of Rune, that's fine. Don't do Disturb Sleep. I would hate you if you did that. Oh, you're my buddy. You counterattacked all three of them. Oh, shit. Black Shield. Well, crap. Uh, double attack. And then we'll go through the leadership. Company Might, Company Valor. This is just... This is unbelievable. These, these guys take so much health. They're so much damage because they have so much health. And... Shit, disturb sleep. Well, fuck you. And now... Uh, Banner of Elendil. Kill that guy. No, and it didn't. Well, ooh, that's good. That's real good. Now that he's dead, I can actually have my fun. Gondor Rampage should kill this guy off. He'll take my health to, you know, one. But fine, I kill this off. I can go and heal up with my items. This is the last chapter. We're not going to need these items in the next chapter. Because there isn't any. 
Hey, everybody, you see those? Oh, shit, four of them? I only remember three. Well, if you, uh, ever wondered if we were ever going to go and face something we weren't ever supposed to, something that's, uh, like I said earlier, completely ridiculous, well, here it is. We're going to be facing later on Moomakill. Oh, look at this. This is quite easy. Well, uh... How am I gonna do this? Uh, frenzy. Then let's go and drain health from you. Well, drain health really doesn't do too much. Let's see how much draining spirit will, uh, work. Oh! Draining spirit doesn't do shit! I would like for it to actually do something, so I can actually just, you know, go and sh help out my uh, fellow party members. Though I can just go and use Idriel in the uh, leaves of uh, uh, Lumbus. That would be pretty good. Oh, counterattack! Cool. Actually, that probably would be the best idea I ever had. I have so many of them. Ah, oh, damn. It's only going to be the regular Lembus that's actually going to give me full. Oh, fine. Let's go do this. We have just enough to get two water stallions off. Granted, Idriel's not going to be moving for a good while. But uh, that troll is going to be hurting a little bit. And that actual... um. Soldier of Rune is the real big menace in all of this. I want him dead. Just because of how much damage they can soak up. Oh yeah, he's not going to be... He's going to be surviving this, trust me. What do these guys have? Nearly, probably 45,000 health at least. Definitely 40,000 health. Those trolls have to have at least 100,000. Uh, and all the trouble we actually have to go through just to get to the final boss. Though in the next part, we're going to be facing Moomakill. Blasted Moomakill. Have you yet to see the Moomakill? Damn. Well, let's see how much this is actually going to do. Should do more than Water Stallion ever did, but not enough to actually go and kill it off. And now you can just do targeted strike to go and kill it off. Hopefully... Yes, that's all I was needed. Thunder hammer, damn, I should probably get up that stand fast. Oh yeah, I'm getting up stand fast. Come on, Adriel. Uh we're gonna need a little bit of help. Cleansing waters will work fine. After that I'll probably I'll probably go with uh, Valorous Haste on Barathor. This will allow me to go and get my uh, Stand Fast off. Now he's not going to be able to stun me anymore. Damn. And now I can start going and attacking the actual troll itself. Oh, let's see. Oh, damn, that wasn't what I actually wanted to go and do. Somebody messaged me, I looked at it, and, uh... That wasn't the best thing that could have ever happened to me. 
Okay, don't go after... Oh, good, good. Thank you. Now, let's see. Now, let's go and do... Uh, we can go and... Sh let's go and do Gift of Greyhaven. We're going to need that. Troll still up. But it's not going to get another attack in. Target of Strike's going to go and kill the troll off. Though, when is there going to be another one of those save points? I would actually like to have a save point right now. You know, healing up and all that. Crap. Maybe it would be this way. Let's just try this out. If it's over here, I'll just go and uh, save it. Because I kind of have something else to do at the moment. Something came up. Okay, let's see. Uh, might as well rupture armor. Oh shit, now, now I think about it, she probably should have went after that guy. Oh good, dodged it. Well, I can't do Frenzy. I can do Water Stallion. I really... D A lot of these uh, actual fights really aren't doing... They're, ju they're just war of attrition at this point. You can kind of see some of my... I'm not going to say motivation. I am motivated to actually go and finish this game. It's more of my enthusiasm I had earlier. It's kind of gone. But this is actually one of the big things that I just don't like about this point in the game. And that's the fact that we really don't actually have... We really don't actually have anything to do anymore. Ooh, that huge AP boost. I mean, this is just... While it's definitely uh, nice in the fact that it's, you know, it's actually sort of difficult. It's not really all that difficult, a final chapter. But so much of it is just the same things we've done before. A nice look. But the same things we've done before. And there's not really much of a, any kind of change in all of this. It's just the same old shit. And granted, th th we should probably be say This is one of the problems with the game. There's a lot of the same stuff that you have to go through. Battle after battle. The battle system's a lot of fun. But this is... Oh, we've, I've been playing this over 20 hours, 21 hours at this point. We've been through all of this so much. I kind of... By this point, you kind of want the game to end. It's not a bad game, it's just overstaying its welcome for what it actually does. Granted, uh, the final boss is definitely worth getting to, just for the hilarity of the situation. Trust me, that final boss, somebody was smoking something. Somebody definitely was smoking something. Ah, uh, let's just, uh, hmm. Let me think. All in all, if I actually did videos like this long, this one's going on for way too long, I kind of want to stop a little bit early, but I want to get to an actual save point, and I do not want to go back. Ooh, I do not want to go back. But, uh... 
I really don't think the actual game's gonna... There's gonna be too many videos after this one. At most, three, but probably gonna be two. It all depends on how quickly it takes me to actually go and defeat those Muma kill. Oh, damn, not a save point anywhere. Well, let's go and get the chest. I'll end the video here. I'll go back. Well, I'll just have to remember how far I am. Actually, wait. Uh, what kind of... This gives him more resistance. Takes down his uh, stats quite a bit. Actually, I'm not going to do that. His stats go down way too much. Though the... Added resistance would have been nice. Uh, this is better. I'm not going to do that. Hard, hard. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. But you need to work on your damage output. A little bit more here. A bit more here. Put it anywhere, Berathor. You don't really need any more in this game. Well, for right now, I'll see you, everybody. See you next time.